Art of Drink has been producing content regularly for roughly two years, and as we head into 2024, it's a good time to reflect on what's happened over the last two years and see where we're going to go into the future. So let's talk about it. I'm Darcy O'Neill, and this is obviously Art of Drink. And over the last two years, I put out videos mostly on making soda and beverage development. Now that wasn't the original plan. Originally, I just started putting out stuff about soda. I didn't want to reproduce what was already out there. So cocktails is a well-filled niche and you know other beverages. I wanted to do something a little more original and a little more complex. Unfortunately, it got to the point where it was too complex for popular content. So a lot of that ended up you know, being supported by my Patreons. And I do have to thank everybody who is a member of Patreon. Your support has really helped this. This is not a cheap channel compared to like a video gaming channel or a makeup channel or any of the other, you know, entertaining vlogging channels out there. Uh, there's a lot of investment in equipment and techniques, so your support is actually what's kept this channel going. Because statistically, uh, these videos that I make aren't getting, well, large audience. That's just a fact. So, you know, getting around one to 2,000 people in the first kind of month, or at least the four, last four videos I have. So that's kind of made me rethink how this channel is going to proceed, and here's how it is going to proceed. Uh, more technical content is going to be pushed over to Patreon. There is a niche group of you that are really interested in developing your own beverages, and the, bever the food and beverage world is a trillion dollar industry, so there's lots of room for business startups to get into that. And if you have something that you think is cool, producing it and selling it to people is a great way to make an income. So, but the problem with that type of information is it does not play well on YouTube. And so it gets a lot less engagement. And YouTube's all about eyeballs. The more eyeballs you get, the more ad revenue. So with my videos, at least the last four getting less than 2000 views, that's not an option. So pushing the technical content to Patreon is something that's going to happen, as well as the development of courses. So one of the things that I've done is tried to straddle two different things and it wasn't intentional. I just happened to go with what people were asking for. So I do read the comments and I do take them to heart. So one of the things I found was whenever I do something that maybe was a little more technical, I'd get a lot of questions. So then I'd answer that with a video like how to use you know, essential oils safely. And though it's a great video for people who want to do that, it is not general consumption content. That engagement's really low on those ones. It's great for the small niche of people that need that, but it, it basically pushes the YouTube algorithm to ignore some of those videos that I put out. Cause hey, I put out a lot of safety videos and let's face it, nobody really needs a safety video unless you're making a beverage that you're gonna feed to other people on you know commercial or bartending scale so uh, what's going to happen is again the technical stuff the i will put together courses because again this idea of straddling between technical detail and trying to be engaging doesn't really work so the courses will allow me to go in far greater detail about making beverages you know the stuff that nobody on youtube really wants unless you're seeking it out However, on the YouTube side of the equation, uh, I think people need to know me better. So one of the things is I've been writing about cocktails since 2004. I studied chemistry, but not a lot of people really know that. Uh, most of my videos are technical and they don't actually know me. Uh, I've mentioned that I've, I'm working on a vineyard. It's been an interesting go growing grapes in Canada, but uh, it makes for a really entertaining content, I assume, because there is suffering, there's failure, and hopefully there are successes. And that's just more of a compelling story for people to watch on YouTube. I will still be doing a lot of the soda stuff here, but more, you know, maybe facts and science tidbits and shorter videos, you know, less than 10 minutes, no more of my long spiels on how to do something. That's all pushed over to Patreon. Now, the other thing is, is that, you know, more engaging content like Q&A live streams. So uh, I, I get a lot of questions for some reason. Well, it's obvious that people searching for this type of content find me on YouTube. 
And then I get a ton of emails asking for, you know, not necessarily consulting because I don't really do consulting, but asking me all these technical questions that are so difficult to answer all of them because they require, you know, a detailed answer. And so I can't actually do that. Uh, I push that over to Patreon because it kind of acts like a filter. But having a few live Q and A's on this channel may help people get the answers and then everybody can get the answer at the same time. Plus it's a little more engaging. Now, the other things that I'll be talking about, uh, I've got a series of cocktail videos. I don't wanna do just how to make a Manhattan, though a lot of people love those videos because it just validates what they already know. And, but I have a, a different idea. So I can basically tell the last 15 years of my life and 15 cocktails and it's an interesting story uh, i've got lots of pictures from all the events i've gone to and there's a whole bunch to it and that's something i would like to do more of just because it's more interesting than just making a cocktail and it also allows people to get to know me which i think is going to be better for the youtube the way youtube works uh, the vineyard stuff will make things more interesting because it's you know, outside of this studio that I built. It's a very small studio, you only see this, but obviously I can do the things like behind the scenes type stuff, which is more engaging on YouTube. And then, you know, shorts. There's lots of shorts I could do on the history of the soda fountain, but it's just a matter of doing that. So I think that's the plan for 2024 is to do what YouTube does best, which is to make engaging, you know, content that plays more on people's curiosity and emotions and push all the technical stuff that people need to know over to Patreon and courses. So that's kind of basically what I think. And this is all based on a lot of your feedback. So I do appreciate the feedback. I do read everything. I may not be able to answer everything, but you know, this idea of straddling the technical side and the what plays well on YouTube hasn't worked great for this channel, though it's worked really well for Patreon. So I very much appreciate that. And so I will give more of that technical stuff over on the Patreon side and more aim for more entertaining stuff on YouTube. So if you like that, or if you dislike it, post below, tell me what you wanna see. Again, these channels are for you, not necessarily me. I'm just putting stuff out there that I think you need. So if that works for you, you know, hit the like button. I don't promote myself enough. You know, I assume you're already subscribed. If not, do that too. Uh, it does help push the channel. So thanks for watching and I will see you in 2024.